Okay, let's talk about my world record. Let's just play it. So I went for normal game here. Of course, we're gonna go for easiest and free civilizations. So, first of all, I am seeing something I like. It's a river and we have gems. Uh, first of all, I'm gonna get all options deselected. So, looking for a good spot, I think I'm kind of happy with this one. That's a text text to zero. Actually, I wanted to do bones working first because my strategy is to build the colossus. Uh, the first thing to so give a really nice boost early on. So what I'm doing here is to blitz through technologies and uh, you see the... I'm just gonna... and everyone a bit, we have the civilization quest, which is the copy protection come up and luckily the top option was the correct answer. So that was fast. So what I'm doing here is Specifically, until I he I get um, ceremony about burial researched, is to just blitz through the research. I oh, yeah, decided to have a phalanx at this point. So after the copy protection is done, it's not gonna like it's the only military unit I need. Switching the library here because I want to speed up the research a bit. So with each research you do, the more expensive it gets to research. And yeah, here I'm, I was trying to get not. Uh, basically, it's really hard at this point to not get monarchy. Accidentally, which is not not something I need. Um, we have magnetism for some reason before construction. I don't know why I didn't do it yet, but yeah, there we go. We're gonna move to Republic. Could get us a bonus in product food production and everything. Basically, Republic and democracy has. A bunch of production bonuses. The bridge building. So I was thinking of making a settler here, but it's not happened. Like, I didn't do that yet. I'm gonna let's do railroad. So, yeah, I was looking at. Let me get back to the frame. We have. I choose philosophy and then check on the city and we have some Copernicus observatory is still building it's about halfway so if I decide to go with a settler here it's uh, it will raise a lot of production yeah I can afford it obviously so medicine the one we have the problem of uh, keeping the population happy Happy with uh, so raising population. So luxuries were increased. I'll need to do this again once or twice. So so far this is looking really good, except for look for seeing the Zulus in my as the enemy list. So we I am building a settler and the uh, what happened there is, I'm gonna go back. So they're still unhappy, and the way I deal with this is removing one of the resources and making them an artist. Or culture person, or whatever. So I'm listening through stuff with banking, 
some reason I kept selecting gravity in my previous ones, and I don't know why it's not needed at all. So we start irrigating this. So just irrigating a tile doesn't make too much sense, but uh, with the bonus of the Republic and especially the Railroad, let's produce a bunch of upgrades in the tile. So going up to electricity here, that will that will um, make my Colosseum, well, Colossus up. Yeah, the Colossus will. There we go. This will make my Colossus obsolete. So electricity cancel the effect of the colors, which is really bad, but there's no way around it. I need to I need to do this. People run a bit unhappy. I increase the luxuries. So I'm continuing irrigating this. So people seem to be quite happy, but I wanted to make them a bit happy, more happy. I sort of make a temple because they will grow. And with each, each new person in the city, there is some unhappiness about the uh, overpopulation. And I'm skipping a bunch of, of researchers that may give some bonuses in, in happiness. So it's complaining about not having an aqueduct. Also, I was checking on my... My research, okay, we have the Alcudar, but there's Hobo Dam. The reason I choose Hobo Dam is first, it doesn't cost any upkeep because it's a wonder. Uh, second, it gives free electricity for a factory later on if I build one. That re also reduces the pollution, I believe, that you have. I don't know if that is true, but I believe it uh, reduces the pollution. Well, you can only build it if you are on a river tile. So if you're not having your city on a river tile, you can build this thing. So we have more unhappiness to deal with. Quite a lot, actually, which is concerning. So far I didn't have much issues with barbarians, but now stuff started to go a bit sideways. So first of all, they just demolished my mine and a bunch of uh, irrigations, which is really bad. And there you go, we have a settler killed. Which is really unfortunate. So we have whatever is still building. I decided to just keep building it. Combustion, we have light now. It's uh, research is getting a bunch slow, especially because we don't have enough um, enough tiles to serve, and I could be good when if I were a bit longer here. So I'm trying to get irrigation then then the mine back and yeah, trying to reduce the tax a bit. Because I want to get the research done, and I've got a ton of money, and then I lost my second settler here. This is ridiculous. Okay, so I did a bit of a dumb here and didn't fix the the city being unhappy for like five turns or so, and uh, so at this point we have record fee and space flight. I'm kind of hoping that we don't get CT program happening, but I did. So uh, now we have to wait for this. So for some reason I selected Darwin's Voyage. I don't know what happened there. I wanted to select Apollo program, so I did this in our next two rows. So. Small problem here, we have the I think Germans in this case, they were exploring, but they didn't come to land, which is really good. If they did, they might have taken my world record run there. 
tornadoes disappear. So, you know, at this point I lost two settlers and I didn't want to build another one. Though I had a problem that the time is running out, so I can, if it reaches 2100 I'll get the game over screen. I might still get to the space race victory, but uh, it takes a lot of time. We're getting a lot of money there. And I have researched everything, so we got the tax up to max. So we have some problems again. Let's select some resources. So mobile variants. Buying the module or the component here. Always doing fuel first because tablets through the menu it makes it gives me the propulsion system. So seven turn is quite a long time for making the structure. But uh, I figured that going with the settler now doesn't make sense time wise. So just let's do this. And we have more barbarians, quite a lot of them. So at this point the launch button appears. I could launch the spaceship, but if you look at the flight time it says 140 years, which I don't have. So what we're gonna do is uh, connect the propulsion system to the habitat thing. We don't need life support, we don't need power for some reason. It will say a 0% success chance, but it will still work. And I, I used to build all the three modu modules, thinking it was necessary, but nope. So flight time, 15.4 years. You can technically build more engines to get this to 10 years, but it's way faster to just launch it now. And I actually hit it here. So if you don't hit the launch button correctly, it will take a bunch of seconds. To reset this, and there we go. Time. So we are really, really late on launching the bucket here, but it still worked. And I went to Alpha Centauri. So, it wasn't. I don't know if this was. Technically, it wasn't the best run I've ever made, but <coughs> I'm quite happy with the time right now. But I, I believe I can do sub 9. So, that is it. That is my current world record of Civilization 1 race. Thank you for watching. And. Skip the replay here. We have just a few. Just a note here, we see the satellite image. Uh, we see this civilization that the Zulus did not expand at all. So they might have built a city where they couldn't expand. And we have just four cities here, which is not too much. So that might ha have worked with the old rules as well. Not giving too much uh, CPU time. Yeah. Thanks for watching.